ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿವನ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ತುಮಾಂದಸ್ಯ ನಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಾಲಾಖ್ಯ ಸಕ್ಸೋರ್ ಉನ್ಮಳತಮೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಸ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಯೋಗಸೂತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಪಾದ ಅನುಭೂತ ವಿಷಯ ಅಸಂ ಪ್ರಮೋಷ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಅನುಭೂತ ವಿಷಯ ಅಸಂ ಪ್ರಮೋಷ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಅನುಭೂತ ವಿಷಯ ಅಸಂ ಪ್ರಮೋಷ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಯೋಗ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಅನುಭೂತ ವಿಷಯ ರಿಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ places and things these experiences create memories that we carry with us throughout our lives the second part of the sutra asam pramosha smritihi refers to non loss of memory this means that once we have experienced something it is forever imprinted in our minds and we will never truly forget it memory is a collection of the modulations and impressions of correct knowledge perverse knowledge illusory knowledge and sleep yes perception changes memory too may alter but correctly used it enables us to recall experiences in their true pristine state this ability is the foundation of the practice of discrimination so how does this apply to our yoga practice yoga is all about experiencing the present moment fully it is about it is about being fully present in the here and now without being distracted by thoughts of the past or worries about the future when we practice yoga we are creating new experiences that we will carry with us throughout our lives whether it's a feeling of our body moving in a certain pose or the sensation of our breath or the peace and stillness we feel during meditation these experiences become a part of us and we carry them with us wherever we go yoga also teaches us to let go of the things that no longer serve us it encourages us to release negative thoughts emotions and experiences so that we can make room for new positive experiences that will uplift and inspire us so let us remember this powerful sutra as we continue on our yogic journey let us embrace each moment fully knowing that the experiences we have today will stay with us forever and that we have the power to let go of anything that no longer serves us so, so i am going to give some practices that help us to implement this sutra in our day to day life to practice and embody these teachings of this 11th sutra here are the simple exercises that we can follow find a quiet and comfortable place where you can sit and relax take a few deep breaths inhaling deeply and exhaling fully yes you sit there begin to bring to mind some of your most positive and uplifting experiences this could be moments of joy love peace or contentment allow yourself to fully relieve these experiences in your mind remembering the sights sounds and sensations of each moment once you have spent some time reflecting on these positive experiences take a moment to release any negative memories or experiences that may be weighing you down let go of any resentments grudges or fears that are holding you back finally bring your awareness back to the present moment take a few more breaths this time much deeper breaths and feel the sensations of your body as it sits here in this moment remind yourself that every experiences you have is a part of you and that you have the power to let go of anything that no longer serves you by practicing this exercise regularly 
you can begin to cultivate a deeper sense of awareness and gratitude for the experiences of your life. You can learn to let go of the things that no longer serves you and embrace the positive experiences that uplift you and inspire you. Anubhuda Visaya Asam Pramosha Smithihi Let's follow this and practice this one sutra in our day to day life. Om Tat Sat Om Tat Sat Om Tat Sat Thank you. Please subscribe to our Vedi Books YouTube channel by clicking on the bell icon.